Okay, and this video is going to be about proving the converse of Menelaus' theorem, which is if you have three points uh, s that are chosen on the sides of a triangle such that the product of the ratios of division is equal to minus one, then it must be the case that those three points are collinear. Now, just uh, as a reminder, these are ratios of division, so they carry with them sign implications. If uh, D is a point, uh, that is exterior to the segment AB, then this ratio here will be negative. Okay? Otherwise, it's just the ratio of those two positive numbers, the length AD divided by the length DB. Um, but because we're thinking about them as ratios of division, there is this possibility that the signs are negative. Okay? So to prove the converse of Menelaus' theorem, we're going to say, suppose we have three points, D, E, and F such that by some weird accident, the ratio's division turns out to be the, have a product of minus 1. And we're going to show that necessarily these three points, D, E, and F, are collinear. Um, and we're actually going to use Menelaus's theorem uh, in the meantime, which is kind of a neat trick. So uh, supposing that D isn't necessarily on this line, E, F, um, there is certainly some point D prime on that line that intersects with the, the line AB. Um, so we're going to let D prime be that, that uh, point. And then now since these three points are collinear, D prime, E, and F are collinear, uh, we can apply Menelaus' theorem, which says that their product of ratios of division must be minus 1. So AD prime over D, D prime B times BF over FC times CE over EA, the, this product must be minus 1. Now, remember, we're also assuming that this these products, this product of ratios of division, is also equal to minus 1. And so these two sets of products must be equal to one another. So we set the two sides equal. And we notice that we have uh, quite a bit of overlap. We have BF over FC in both cases. We have CE over EA in both cases. And so uh, regardless of whether those are positive or negative, uh, those must be exactly the same quantities. And so we can cancel them out. So we're left with AD prime over DB prime equals AD over DB. Now we're uh, kind of pulling a, a trick out of our bag. We're going to add the denominator to the numerator of both of these fractions, and that shouldn't change anything. So we're going to add D prime B to the numerator of the fraction on the left, and DB to the numerator of the fraction on the right. Now since we're adding the denominator in both cases, we're really adding the same thing to both sides. But now look at AD plus AD prime plus D prime B. This says uh, go to from A to D prime and then from D prime down to B. Now these are directed segments so these kind of work like vectors. They're, we're not just thinking about them as numbers at this point. They kind of work like vectors so if I add the vector from A to D prime and the vector from D to B, D prime to B, uh, the result should be the vector from A to B. Similarly, if I go from A to D and D to B, I should end up with the vector that goes from A to B, which means that these two numerators are exactly the same thing. So the denominators must be equal if the fractions are equal. And so D prime B is actually D B. Um, <clears throat> And so we can conclude then, again, we're thinking about these as directed line segments. Um, if you go exactly the same direction and length to get from D prime to B as you would to get from D to B, that must mean that you are in the same place to start with. So D prime must be exactly the same point as D. Uh, now, since D and D prime are the same, and we began with the assumption that D prime was on a line with E and F, that means that D, E, and F are collinear, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And so we win.